My name is Kashi and I'm a rising freshman at Design Point High School. My main project was a water gun injury detector, and this is my final milestone. For my final milestone, I decided to add a camera so when it not only shoots the person, but it also takes a picture of the person, uploads it onto the popular source of social media called Twitter, and it even sends a message to my phone, and even when it takes the picture, it says, got you. Now here's a quick demo on how it works. It shoots the person. I have my Android phone taking the photo, and it just sent a text message to my phone, and then it will shortly upload onto Twitter. As you can see, this was a photo that was recently taken. Um, the, during this milestone, one key component, the key components I use is a sh I, one shield. A one shield is a shield used connected to your um, Android device, and it also connects to your Arduino Uno board. And here is a little, um, here is what a one shield looks like on top of your Arduino board. Originally, throughout in this, um, originally in this milestone, I had two PIR sensors. One PIR sensor using just two for the gun, and one PIR sensor for taking the picture. But for recent days, I decided to use, instead of using two PIR sensors, into using one PIR sensor. I would also face multiple um, challenges of trying to take multiple photos. Like sometimes, when motion is detected, it will take three or four photos at a time. But then I learned it depends on the distance. Depending how close your motion is detected, it will take more pictures. So if the uh, motion is detected further away, it will only take one picture. I also had some connection errors where I realized why I was keep on taking more and more pictures. I also had trouble trying to have the PIR sensor communicate with the, both the shield for the, taking the picture and also communicate with um, using the other in Arduino Uno board to shoot the person. Um, overall, Blue Stamp, I, I learned a lot about engineering. I got to experience electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and a little bit more about programming. I learned about Arduino and coding with Arduino, which I've never heard or even used before. I gained new research skills, and I learned more problem solving, how you keep on going and keep on solving problems, even when you think you can't do it, and you ask your peers and ask your mentors, which is what I did to finally come up with solutions for this problem. Overall, Blue Stamp was a very eye-opening experience, which I'm very thankful for. I know I will not stop engineering here, and I hope to pursue it as a career in the future. Thank you.